Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps. Today I'm going to share with you one of the DIY projects. And this project can help you in your life if you have experience like mine. This is your host, Harjandar Sidhu, Easy Steps. I'm working on this DIY project. I'm under my house, crawling space. This house itself is a very old house. It was modified back in uh, 2000. So pretty much it's a brand new things, but we always say professionals, they do good jobs. I never doubt their expertise. Sometimes they do big boo-boo and which can be a cause of concern and which can cost you. Their small error can cost you a lot of amount of money. I found out uh, during inspection that all the insulation under the house has been upside down and now if I have to get somebody from outside to do it, uh, it can cost me three to five thousand dollars. But if you know what to do with a simple DIY process, it's your labor, that's no doubt about it, but it can be done. It's very tedious job, it's not easy. So it's uh, really important that uh, you take all the safety precautions, get a mask, yeah, which is an uh, industrial mask, not uh, a common mask, protective mask because uh, so much dust and uh, you don't want it breathing, eyeglasses, gloves, and uh, then the working light. So what I'm going to share with you basically that uh, you have the netting, cut into two to three inches uh, pieces and you staple it up on top of the wood then this is the insulation i turn it uh, upside down and this is the next insulation so it's all stapled on the sides on the paper so i'm going to flip it once it's flip it then i'm going to take this netting i'm going to put it on right on that wood and i'm going to staple it this job is uh, really not easy if you are handy but uh, with the diy work uh, it will uh, take some time with the patient, but you can done it within uh, 20 25 dollars, whatever the cost of the role and your manpower. If you're a DOA person like me, I like to do things myself. Not only it saves some money, really honestly, don't enjoy this one, but uh, I do enjoy all the DIY work. As I started the first one, I did it, it took me a little time. Then I give a thought what is the easiest and the best way to do it? So that's the tips I'm sharing with you. You use your stapler, you staple it. Once you staple it, then you take this netting on the other side at the 48, you staple it. Then you are covered with the two portions of insulation. Then on this side, you just staple it and let it hang. Don't staple it on the other side. Now you flip it over. Once you flip it over, this netting will hold insulation not to fall down. All the papers are stapled, that's why insulation is in place. Once both are turned upside down, this side, side of insulation netting, which is hanging, then you staple it, then it will be secure. And according to the core, the insulation should be down under and the paper should be up, touching the wood floor. So it absorbs the moisture and also during the fire it helped to protect the house so as i mentioned that uh, this uh, mistake happened now basically i'm uh, responsible to fix it if you have such a problem and this problem only you're going to see if your house is on the raised foundation if you have a crawl space if your house is on a concrete slab then you don't have to worry as a good tip this insulation is used in our attic it's used inside our walls so the paper has to be always facing towards your wall, towards the sheet wall. So I hope uh, this video is going to help you out. Be careful when you are turning and pushing insulation upside down. There are nails or staples coming out throughout the flooring. So you can hurt yourself. So just be careful. That's another tip. I'm halfway done and this is how it's uh, now looking. This side still need to be done. That side is all done. As you can see, I have to go a long way. This is how insulation looks. This is how it's supposed to be. I'm turning upside down.
these still need to be taken out. 75% is done. The other side is more easier because it has more clearance. I can sit down. Oh boy. It's a fun job. This DIY project was a fun project. It took me a long time to finish it. I have only now left one, two, three. That's it. And I'm done with all the insulation. Turned it upside down. What's the insulation? Insulation netting, what it called. I hope uh, this DIY project going to help you out in case if you needed to get work done yourself. All these DIY projects, this is one of the toughest because you can't even sit down. This place I can sit down, the place I was working inside in the middle of uh, the house, I was just crawling and uh, the distance was a half of it. This area I can sit down and other side I can sit down and this side I can sit down. So overall, it took me more than uh, eight hours without drinking, without anything. If you're not used to this, like I'm not used to, my nose really hurt. If you have any questions, uh, please do so. And uh, regards to the what material I use, I'm going to list under the description. Ah, after hard work, I'm coming out. Huh. Oh. You do need a knee pad also. It was a tough job. Mm. I can take a fresh breath. It took me nine hours. Under this crawl space. Now the final time came. My ladies laughing at me that I work like a slave. Yes, indeed. It's a hard work, but it pays off. Many people's going to say, it's not going to cost that much. That's not true. When you take estimate, some say 3,000, some say 5,000. It's a lot of, amount of money, $5,000. The house, uh, 2,000 square feet, and uh, it has a lot of insulation. And the final wrap up came, my lady came up to greet me coming out of the hole. Had a smile on her face. It's worth it. So thank you for joining uh, Easy Steps and please take uh, as precautions as possible. Try to use a uh, hard uh, hat because there's so many nails and you can get uh, injured. You can follow what I did or you can make it better. So thank you for joining Easy Steps. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon with a new project. Bye-bye.